Hmm. I try to path through this. I don't suppose we can get rid of it. No. Okay, we've still got nothing more from Evangeline. Well, except these quests that I'm not worried about. Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. Hi there. Right. I don't need to tell you to follow me. So, you must be following. Ah, you wanted to tell me about your ability to summon such special creatures? Yes, you're right. I owe you that much. A long time ago, my family had a farm in High Rock. The river in our land was clear and delivered a good, nice flow for our crop. Our bordering neighbor, the Meridons, was not only jealous of our rich harvest, but also demanded we do not use so much water for ourselves. My family did nothing and used the water of the river like they always had. <laughs> our neighbor took the first step and poisoned our harvest. Then we retaliated. Before long we were basically at war. The Meridons were brutal and outnumbered us. The first victim was a mother and a child. That's when, in desperation, they made a pact with Clavicus Vile. He gave us power. Knowledge to summon powerful beings. With that power, we were able to win the war. But power came at a price. He demands body and soul also for his own. Before our mortal shell dies, he comes and takes what is his by our pact. Thus it has been for generations. Now you know the secret of the Irvines. Well, thanks for being so honest with me. But don't tell everyone about this. Clavicus Vile has ordered us to make this a secret. Of course. Alright. See you later. Uh, I mean, greeting, fellow traveler. <laughs> Wait, no. Can I help you? Are you in need of aid? Yes, yes, please. I, 
Listen, I can't tell you why, but it would be very helpful to me if you would be so kind as to point me towards a sellsword or mercenary of some kind. That's what it's called, right? When you pay someone and they make sure no one kills you. Ah, uh, there's no need. I'll help you. Really? Well, thank you so much. You have no idea what a relief it is to hear that. So, how much do you want me to pay you? Ah, 500 gold will do. Okay, yeah, that's a reasonably good price. Um, so I don't really have a place to go. In fact, considering my situation, it's probably best if I just go where you go. Why exactly do you need protection? To be honest, I hardly know myself. I was shipped off to solitude by my brother over a year ago. He wouldn't tell me why. And then I hear news of my family having just disappeared completely from Daggerfall. And no matter how much I write or send envoys, I never get any news. Ah. <sighs> Why not just return home and see for yourself? I was planning to do that when these strange men started following me. They kept trying to make me go with them somewhere and when I kept refusing, they started getting physical. To the point that I had to flee from solitude. I ended up in Morpha when I got a letter from my brother. He tells me I'm in a great danger and that I must disappear from the world's view. I didn't even realize anyone knew of House Gold Spirit here in Skyrim. House Gold Spirit? Forgive me, I haven't even introduced myself yet. I am Clara Gold Spirit, only daughter of Amelia and Bellafor Gold Spirit, youngest of 13 children. What is your 13 name? 13 children. Ah, Claire, pleasure to meet you, Clara. Please continue. The pleasure is all mine. Well, I am a noble, but not just any noble. I'm a daughter of House Gold. You know what? I really don't think it's a good idea if I talk too much about it. I'm sorry. We should really keep moving. I can't defend myself very well, but I am very good at making potions and polite conversation. <laughs> I might not exactly be a penitus or colatus, but I can almost certainly try. Penitus. Sounds weird the way you say it. I'll gladly help you. Let's get you away from here. Very well, good sir. I'm right behind you. <coughs> um. It's a magic cloak you got there. Okay. Here's what I've got. It's not going to reappear, is it? There should be some potions in my pack if you need some. Oh, I have this ranger sword. I should have left that with Tinrith. I still have Forodent's necklace. Alright.
These conversations always feel a bit one-sided. All right. So it's you, day. Oh, this guy. Decided to bask in my stunning radiance. I'll allow it. Hmm. <laughs> if he's looking for Katana and Megara, he's out of luck. They're in the show. Take a drink, here. Anyone? I love how Minette pretends to know the things she doesn't, but not the things she does. <sighs> Safe journeys. Everyone that doesn't have physics here is from a mod. Yeah. Hello. Drivers smell like dung. Stay clear or you will stink for days. <laughs> hmm. Do you want something from me? I don't like the way you're staring at me. Just sort of say hello. Well, that's awfully kind of you, I must say. Thank you. Anyway, pleasure to meet you. I'm Arwadin of the Somerset Isles. Well, actually, Eleanor, if you listen to the Thalmor. And your name is... We share our ancestors with the Norns and Altmer. Who was that? Um, Claire, pleasure to meet you. Tell me about yourself. Well, like I said, I'm a high elf. I come from Eleanor like every other one of my kind. But if you're wanting a more detailed history about me, then fine. I'll indulge you since you asked so nicely. For an Altmer, I'm considerably young. Twenty years since I came to Mundus. My parents, however, were well over a hundred years old. That's still young for an Altimer, and me? Well, I'm very young, I suppose. Ignorant of everything around me. Still a child and all. So they assume. Typical Altimer snobbish behavior, of course. Age apparently reflects one's wisdom and power. I believe I defy that. <sighs> I probably have the maturity of at least a 50-year-old Altimer, or perhaps more. So how'd you end up in Skyrim, then? Thalma Dustasia has murdered my parents. It happened so fast and unexpected. I presume you wish to know why. And like many families, my parents chose to have children out of love for one another, and intimacy between mother and father. They never believed in the superiority of Mer, nor the ways in which we were supposed to live, and that very belief would cost them their lives. So I ran. Either I was going to be killed off or sold to some other family, or worse, forced marriage with some highborn Altima pretty boy. I was lucky. I wasn't alone. There were a fair few of us who escaped Eleanor. Many of us died attempting huh? to do so. We eventually separated and I was on my own. I headed for Skyrim because it's the furthest away from the Isles. How long have you been here in Skyrim? 
Gosh, you are curious one, aren't you? Very well. I shall share a bit of my back story. I've been here for a few weeks. Came through Cyrodiil and through Helgen. Then took a carriage from Whiterun to Solitude. Haven't been doing much myself here. Since I'm here, though, I would like to see the rest of Skyrim. I'm not completely defenseless, mind you. I know quite a bit of the arcane arts for my age, and unlike many of my kind, I don't mind being a warrior. But as much as I hate to say it, I lack the skills and confidence to go out on my own. Hmm, that gives me an idea. You look like you can handle yourself. I presume you're well adapted to this kind of thing. Thus, oh, yes. I have a rather nice proposition for you. You want to accompany me on my travels? I offer myself as an equally treated companion in our travels. I'm not some hireling or mercenary or your pack mule. I offer my companionship in the form of friendship, and of course you'll have a somewhat talented, not to mention beautiful, Altimo by your side. You must admit this is definitely an offer you can't oh. resist, isn't it, hmm? So what do you say? Start packing then, we're off. Excellent. I knew you couldn't resist. I'll start packing then. Let me know when you're ready to go. Trust me, you won't regret it. Seems anyone who tries to kill you are ignorant that you are the Dragonborn. Until you open your mouth, that is. Follow me. Another adventure. Let's go write some more stories. Huh? <clears throat> I've been spending some time during our travels and knitting. I've been making a scarf. I'm not very good at it, though. You don't want a conversation, do you? I appreciate the attention, but I'm afraid I'd rather be alone right now. Same damn. Was I that obvious? Look, I appreciate it, but you're just a stranger. Why would you even be remotely interested in anything I have to say? But if you are interested... It's this town. It's starting to get real it's suffocating around here, and I'm sick of it. Frostbite. <laughs> what brought you to solitude? Mostly came here to study at the Bard's College, but they've been a bit of a disappointment so far. Haven't learned much at all from them. Between that and the dirty looks I get from the townsfolk, I really haven't had the most pleasant of times here so far. Anything I could do to help? Not much you can do, really. Don't worry about it, though. I'm sure I can figure something out. I usually do. You can always come with us for building a adventuring group. <laughs> yeah, I could follow you to the depth and carry all your it's stuff. That'd be swell. Oh, you're serious, sorry, huh? You know what? I've got nothing better to do. My voice actor might as well take you up on your offer. Uh, Not I like mean, I can't handle myself out there. We have. Besides, it might turn out to be fun or inspirational or whatever. Glad to have you aboard. Glad to be aboard, I guess. Oh, by the way, the name's Yazak. Figured you should at least know my name before we go out adventuring huh? and stuff. Claire. Just say the word and I'm with you. Who knows, this could turn out to actually be a good decision. Or, uh, an extremely bad one. Either works. You're out! And, uh, honestly, Madanak being... But I've always... I get that their land... As an orc, I... But enough of that. You've just escaped from s on the whole. Granted, I'm not sure what being a friend. I have no idea what, but surely that, without saying it, so many and the stronghold orcs, they want to live up to that image as much as possible. And what we should be doing is getting our act together. Think, but seriously, I appreciate. You're back. I mean, you know, granted. You but for now, the <laughs> hero's work is never done. Is this castle yeah. So first of all, what? So. I won't, but couldn't Tolf do <sighs> I don't understand this place. I mean, anyway, don't mind me, I'm just casual. So what does the Harbinger of the Companions actually do? I mean, oh, anyway, I'm sure you'd do a better job as har Don't take, but I suppose if Elisif can be High Queen, you can be Harbinger. After all, 
Nothing makes sense, and everything is stupid. Thank the eight or nine you're back from Apocrypha. I take it Mirax been dealt with, for better or for worse. If you need me for anything, I'm all ears. Follow me. All right, let's mosey. All right. Um. Do I have anything? It would be. Do you take students, Dragonborn? Do lessons on how to shout? Think about it, won't you? Got anything remotely useful? We'll find out in a minute. Um, you not gonna wear that? Everything in Skyrim seems to be made out of either cold huh? or stone, mud, or wood. Got any rubies, diamonds, gems of any sort? See you later. So what are we doing next? Got anything remotely useful? I don't know. We'll see. Onwards then. Yeah, that works. Clips a little bit. I should have got the gauntlets as well. <coughs> Alright. Um. Rising Threat is a book which absolutely must be on your book list. I'm sure you'll find it most fascinating. Is there anything I can do for you? Wait. Did I hear you right? You're asking if there's anything you can do for me. Well, that is quite surprising, actually. I never expected... Oh. But yes, there is something you can do for me, actually. You know, well, health would be a better word. By some of your anyway... A few days before you had the privilege to encounter me in your travels, I received a letter from a courier during my stay in solitude. The letter of who, I do not know from whom, details a stash hidden away somewhere at a smuggler's den near Whiterun. I was going to go, but since I was on my own and am new to these parts, I didn't think it was worth the risk. Not that I have anything to fear. Now that you're here, I was thinking perhaps we could go together and see what this mysterious letter and stash is all about. I'll help you find it. Let's go. I can only wonder what lies within this stash. Let's go. Oh, I almost forgot. The letter came with a key as well. Here. It's probably best you hold on to it. <coughs> um <coughs> oh, we got to ignore timeout auto idle stealth invisibility my life has changed so much ever since the day my parents were killed. I'll tell you now that I wouldn't be running around like now, back at home. You're not on AFF. Guess we'll talk later. I don't know how she 
managed to join without getting on it. She's not like... Oh, maybe she does have her own thing. What is it, Dragonborn? Right. That got the hair going. See you later. That Kashid is frightened of a little bit of rain. Yes? Can I ask you a question? What's on your mind? <coughs> what did you do in your first year in Skyrim? Up until I met you, I was working at the Radiant Raymond. Terry and Andrea are quite nice once you really get to know them. Huh? Although... Andari never was happy with my cross stitches. All right. <laughs> yeah, I wish I didn't do the dancing. Is that the guy from the quest? I think it is. You're more than welcome to upgrade that armor I gave you, but it's enchanted, so you'll need to know how to forge magical items. I'd give it back to you if that was a possibility. Ever try Topol rum? Made from these uh, hard fruits that grow in the tropics down south. <laughs> Maybe one day. Okay. If you want an adventure. Mm, that guy's leaving, is he? No. He's gonna wait for Katana. <coughs> the hell is this? The comedy Kajit. Please, 
to death. Dragon if another dragon bites the dust. You're good. Dragons must eat gold and cough it up when they die. That's weird. No, oh, looks like they're hostile already. I definitely wouldn't be facing dragons without you. Take that as a compliment. Ahem. <laughs> What else this desolate wasteland can offer? It's quite nice to be travelling, I must say. Can't imagine myself staying in one spot anymore. Found the stash you've been looking for. So, the chest contained a set of mithril armour? Well! You won't find another set around here, I'd wager. Quite a surprising find, really. And it's of elven make, too. Unlike those cheap Cyrodiil knockoffs they used to make. Well, I think it'll have greater use on me. Not to mention better looking on me <laughs> than you personally. Besides, it's intended for me after all. Do people paint you? But I'm nice. So if you really want it, I suppose you could hold on to it. Though I'd appreciate it if you'd allow me to have it. Either way, I suppose I should thank you for helping me find this stash. I'm sure it would prove to be quite useful. As for the stash's letter? Hmm, well, it's nothing I've seen before. And I can tell you I'm quite good at solving puzzles, codes, and anything else. Give me a bit of time, and I'll see if I can crack it. What do you know about Mithril armor? Well, I know it was very widespread during the Third Era. The Imperials loved to make cheap duplicates of it. Many would-be adventurers probably met their end, thinking their precious mithril armor would save them from critical blows. Other than that, I don't really know much about the armor itself. 
I know that genuine mithril armors are relatively rare in the Isles. I don't even know if the Altima made mithril, or if it was made by the Bosma. In a book I once read, it quoted an old wizard who said, Mithril! All folk desired it. It could be beaten like copper and polished like glass, light and yet harder than tempered steel. Its beauty was like to that of common silver, but the beauty of Mithril did not tarnish or grow dim. Anyway, it's definitely a rare sighting in Tamriel, even more rare here in Skyrim. I have to wonder, though. Why direct this stash to me? Who sent this letter? All in due time, I suppose. Um. So what are we doing next? Got any powerful artifacts you could lend me? The mithril armor. Caves, ruined forts, Dwemer ruins, oh, and Nordic ruins. What's next now? And another chest just waited here for us to be looted. <laughs> it sure did. Right. Couldn't get the armor she had how much gold did you find in places like this we've stopped what is it you want armor what are friends for but to share the load What are friends for but to share the load? You'll warn me if it's fragile, right? How do giants milk the mammoths? Maybe... Okay, mm. I'll just stop I talking now. I don't want to know. That actually works out pretty good. Hello. Can you tell me more about you and your family? With pleasure. Would you like to hear more about me, my family, or something else? Ah. Uh. I told you that I have a sister. Her name is Serena. She's married to a man named Perolf. Together they have a son. His name is Baron, and he's the one who was kidnapped in the name of the cult. So you ventured forth to find your cousin. That's right. The kidnappers hurt Perolf very badly. My sister needs to take care of him. I gladly volunteered to go after the kidnappers and inform the law when I have evidence. <clears throat> what about your sister? She's older. Three years older, to be precise. The reason why Aww, this is quite sad. My mother had another child after my sister and before me. The child was very ill and died before it was born. My parents needed time to overcome their grief, and then I was born. All right. Come with me. Yep, yep, oh great leader. <laughs> okay. How are you? Is your favorite gem? Is it soul gems? Mine is diamonds. 
Wait, no, rubies. No, diamonds. The rich no. men worship no. Daedra, right? If I didn't know better, I'd say that was an accusation. You know what I mean. Fine. It varies across most reach folk clans. Some acknowledge the Daedra as powerful forces that you'd be stupid to ignore. Others worship the Aedra the way most of Tamriel does. Still others follow the old gods, the spirits of our ancestors. Most struck a balance of all three. Who do you worship? I'm not sure I know the answer to that anymore. Most of our magic and protections come from some aspect of the hunter. Here seen as you know him, but we don't worship him in the traditional sense. I don't think there's much I could do at this point to draw his favor. Generations ago, my ancestors called upon kind for the magic. When I set out on my own, I decided I might try to follow in their footsteps. Alright. 